Hello everyone, this is Mukundan Raghavan and this video we are going to implement the locking functionality inside our Playwright framework and we are going to use the Winston library from the JavaScript. So what is logging and why do we need that? So let's understand more what is logging and why do we need that? Logging is a very crucial in test automation or not only test automation, it is for development as well because it helps us to monitor, debug and analyze the execution process. For example, you can use it for the troubleshooting and debugging, or even you can use for the test execution monitoring. If you have the long execution time, you can see what is happening without opening the report file because report file will be available only after execution. Performance analysis also can be done. For example, if you have one step is taking more time, you can see in the log files how much time it takes for that step. Obviously, it helps us the documentation. So what are the business or functional flow happens? And if any new team member joins, you can share the log files to see the functional flow in a very simple way. However, it is also the best practice to have the logging in our test automation framework. Now we have the different levels. It can be for debug, only for the development of debugging, or it can be the info just to give the information about the process or warning. It will not have the direct impact. However, it is better to improve error, actual error that we may get from the automation itself or it can be from the application itself. And after that fatal, which can be more severe and we need to take the immediate action for that. Here, there are some hierarchy. For example, if I mention the logging level as debug, it will cover the debug info warning error fatal. If I mention the debugging level as info, it will cover only the info and next onwards. For example, info warning error fatal. The same way it will go for the other things. For example, if I mention the log level as error, it will cover only error and fatal, not info, not debug, not warning. So basically you more go to the level, only that level and above level will be considered. So with the knowledge, we will try to go to the NPM install. So NPM install, you can install for the Winston. The same for the moment time zone, which is for the time zone. Now we will go to the utility actually. So let's go to the utility. So here can go to the login utility. It will be under again utility. So as usual, we have the Winston library. We have the path because the utilities folder will be under the utils. And we need to go one level above, which is source SRC. Then we will jump to the logging folder. So this will be the logging directory where we will write our all the log files. When we write the log files, we are creating custom format, which means it will have the timestamp, level, and then message. For our time zone, based on our time zone, we can mention the Asia, Kolkata, or it can be the Europe or America, or depends on your location. Now we are creating the object for the logger. Winston.createLogger, it will require multiple inputs. The first one would be the formats. When you create the formats, you can give the different formats. First of all, we are going to format the timestamp, how it looks like. For that, we are going to use the moment library to create the current location time zone. Then this time zone will be used inside our custom format, which is already mentioned here. So this timestamp will be formatted before we get into the custom format. Now we have completed the format by combining the custom format and the existing time zone. Now transports. Transport section mentions where to send our log files. It can be the console, it can be the file. Even you can have the multiple files. For example, here I have mentioned the info level because Whatever comes info, warning, error, fatal, everything will go into the test run log. It will have entire log. Whereas if I mention the error, it will have only error and fatal so that you will be having the less time to analyze only the error and fatal. Then obviously we have other parameters like here, max files. At a time, you will have only maximum five files and maximum size for each file. It will be the 10 KB. So this is about the utility. After creating the logger, we will be just export that so that you can use it in other files. Preferably, you will be using this logger inside your page classes. For example, in page class, you can see in login page, every time when I do some business functionality navigated to the login salesforce.com, filled username, filled password. In case of error, you will be writing as a logger.error. If it is successful, then you will mention the logger.info. The same goes to the home page also. If any error comes, it will be catching with logger.error and you will throw it. Otherwise, you will be mentioning logger.info, click down login button. But however, it is not login button. It is something like service title is visible, right? So we need to mention service title is visible.
yes fine now we have mentioned the logging folder so here these are the logins so let's remove everything so that you will have the clear understanding so this is the log file and this is the test runner file or the entire logs will be here just remove everything now we will go to the terminal and try to run it so before running you make sure you have set up the salt value because in previous video we have set up all the environment configuration with encryption so that we will not see any username password or any credentials in the plain text we will be having the encrypted in order to decrypt we need to use the salt make sure you have set up the salt then you run the npx playwright test here also you can see you can monitor as soon as it goes to the next next levels you can see what is happening see test for login is completed and here you can see login test basically if i go to the test actually whichever the log information required at the test case level you can write inside the test but whichever the steps are required at the page level you will be writing into the page class why because if you write in page class you don't need to repeat again and again for the same functional steps however this step is only telling me the test for the login is completed this is specific to the test so that's the reason i have written the logger information inside our test also now if i go to the log file test run log here you can see your timestamp the level of logging and the information field username password click on login button service state is visible test for the login is completed the more you add good information about your test steps it will be very easy for anyone to understand your functional flow in case of error also it will be very easy to debug and to fix the error in quick way so this way we have understood so we have used the winston library if you go to the package.json you can see winston library has been installed and moment time zone to have our current time zone and we have created the logger util where we have seen all the setups so we have formatted our log format and we have mentioned the time zone and we have the logging inside console and inside the file also and we created two files only for info and other levels and another one is for only for error and fatal then we have seen that in login page or in page classes we can mention so that we don't need to repeat the functional logging however in test class level also we can mention only the log information which are required for the test cases then we have seen in the page class or let's say anywhere we will be writing both catch and then method so that in case of error it will be writing for the error in case of positive scenario it will be writing for the info so this is all about this video this video explained about how to implement the logging functionality inside our playwright test automation framework and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud